everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Kat and for today we have two mammoth things to go over we're gonna have a speed review so I'm gonna talk about five different brands just plow right through these palettes as well as these little mamma jammas I might already have some of it on my lids we're gonna talk all about that but first the elephant in the room I have over a thousand subscribers I never ever thought those words would leave my mouth Thank you so, so much to all of you. I, I don't even know like how to convey how excited I am and just how grateful I am to you guys that you even wanna watch me talk about makeup. Like that just blows my mind. <laughs> like I don't view myself as being an expert by any means. And so the fact that there are a thousand of you guys out there that like my content, that wanna gush about makeup with me, I just, I can't even tell you how much that means. So thank you guys so, so much just for all of the love and support that you guys have shown me over the last two years. It just, it just thank you so, so much. And so as a show of thanks, I am going to do the biggest giveaway that I have ever done. There are going to be three winners of this giveaway. I'll have all of the details down below as far as like how to qualify for it, but the basics are you need to be at least 18 years or older. I will do international shipping as long as it is a country that the post office will ship to. So there are unfortunately certain countries where I can't ship to right now. And so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but if you fall in a country that I can ship to, I will. And so there are three winners that are going to happen. And what I would like for you guys to do to let me know that you wanna be entered, you have to be subscribed and I would like for you to let me know down in the comments what is something that you would love for me to talk more about like what is the favorite thing that you have where you're just like man I wish you would talk about this more let me know down below also if instead of that you would rather let me know how often you want me to be posting I know right now I'm a little bit sporadic where it's like sometimes you get one video a week sometimes you get three we don't know <laughs> So what is a good amount of content that you guys would love to have me post? So if you leave one of those two comments, that's how I know that you want to be entered into the giveaway. And let me just show you what you're getting. So I did recently a declutter of just a whole bunch of makeup. I, I think it took me five videos to talk through all of my eyeshadow palettes from all the different sizes. And so many of you were like, man, I would love to have some of those palettes. And so what I did was any of the palettes that I have never touched, they just no longer have the outer wrapping, but I have never used them, never touched them. I just didn't feel like I needed to have them in my collection those are up for grabs. So the first category that we have is going to be the neutral palettes. That is two whole rows of neutrals and then you also get from the brand new Kaleidos collection the entire lip set of lip clays. That is all four of them that are in there along with all of these palettes that are in here. I'm not going to show you what all's in there. Some of it's just going to have to be surprised or go back and watch which neutral palettes I decluttered, but they are all untouched. I will show you on one of them what they look like on the inside where you can just see completely untouched, not swatched or anything. And those are the only ones that I set aside for you guys just for sanitary purposes. I didn't want to do anything where I've swatched it. The other group of decluttered palettes is going to be the color group where you guys are gonna get all of these, which also includes from the new Kaleidos collection, one of their brand new blushes and the lip mask. Same thing as with the neutral palettes, only ones that I have not touched. That is what you guys will be getting. So neutrals or colors, and then the grand finale, which is my indie brand one which the majority of these palettes are probably indie brand because that's all I mainly do on here. But let me see if I can lift this guy up. Oh, it's a big stack. <laughs> you guys will be getting all of this. It includes brushes. It includes one of the Denise Myricks thingamabobbers that we're going to be talking about today. Those are the infinite chrome flakes that everyone's been talking about on TikTok. You're going to get Copacetic Cosmetics, Kaleidos, Gourmand Girls, P. Louise, just absolutely everything. A whole bunch of singles from some of my favorite indie brands. Just absolutely everything is going to be in here. So that is the grand finale that you could potentially win. So, and those are all brand spanking new. Never even opened them to look at them. They're just there for you. <laughs> so that is all three and I will pull the winners in two weeks time. So I will have down below the dates 
for which this giveaway is gonna go. And I'll also include on there the date that I'll be sharing with you guys, the three lucky winners. So make sure you guys are double checking for that date. You leave a little calendar reminder for yourselves. So you come back and check that video because that is how I'll be notifying you guys if you won or not is in that video. So if you don't watch that video and comment, you're not gonna get the stuff. So you gotta pay attention to that date down below in the description. But I hope you guys are excited for it. I'm super excited to see what you guys think of everything. I wanted to keep it kind of half a surprise while also showing you guys just the loads and loads of stuff that you guys are gonna be getting. I think probably if I was to calculate a grand total, you're looking at probably over a thousand dollars worth of makeup right here. So pretty cool. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will love it. And I'm just so, so excited and so grateful to you guys. So this was just a way of showing thank you so, so much. So make sure you comment down below based on those two comments that I was asking for. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this speed review. So we have four palettes and then we also have the Denise Myrix Infinite Flakes which we're gonna go over, which I do have on my eyes. One of the shades, and that is the Fireball shade. They come in these cute little jewel-looking containers. I have three of the shades. The other two are Shooting Star and Moonlight. So that is the purple and blue boxes on there as well. And I will say that the best way that I have found to apply them is with a silicone applicator. So I have this guy right here, given to me by Zinnia, one of my friends. She is awesome. And so definitely felt like this was the easiest way to apply it. I will, however, say it does take a little bit of tweaking on the amount because I can definitely tell you that on this eye look, I put on a little bit too much and so it's kind of heavy and thick feeling and so you're gonna have to work a little bit like I literally like this much like I barely covered the tip of the silicone applicator and it covered the entirety of the lid and still feels heavy so you're really gonna have to start off with the lightest of amounts and then slowly build from there it does also take a little while to dry so just be prepared for that but as far as like if it looks good they are beautiful like i can definitely tell you that the the looks that people were doing on tiktok by applying it to the lips i think is a great way to do it because you're also not going to notice the heaviness on the lips that you would feel on your eyes and so i think that's probably the best way to use them but if you're going to use them on the lid just start off with the smallest amount and then slowly build up from there but they do look stunning once they are on the lid like no complaints <laughs> and so i would highly recommend them they are absolutely awesome. I will also say with the Denise and Myrix ones, when you do apply it too heavy the way that I did, if you look at my lids, it does have a tendency to immediately crease um, at the bend in my lid. And so because of that, you kind of lose the full coverage nature of it. And so that's also part of why you want to keep it a little bit thinner on there as far as the consistency goes so that it doesn't kind of crack out like that. Let me show you what they look like on the inside so that that way you can see what I'm talking about as far as a gel. So this is the gold one that I currently have on my eyes and you can just see very thick in consistency like turning it upside down it's not moving but you just want to take the slightest of dabs so what I did was any amount that was like stuck on the rim I very cautiously kind of dabbed a little bit of it onto the applicator and then went from there but really the teeny tiniest bit of amount on there otherwise you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be struggling <laughs> so that was what I thought about those but as far as like whether they look good or not they look absolutely gorgeous so they are definitely worth it but just trial and error on the amount to apply to your lids. So for the palettes, we're gonna start off with the Adept Cosmetics Amunet New. I did a video on this showcasing a look for you guys as well as swatches, but I wanted to give my overall thoughts after using it a few times. This is one of the looks that I came up with. It is a really, really gorgeous neutral palette color story really enjoyed it a lot. You can do a ton with it. I grabbed the darker version, which has this blue shade for Seth. The lighter version is more of a beigey tone. And so I thought for me liking more color, 
I didn't want it to lean so far to the neutral side, and so I grabbed the blue instead of the beige shade. I will say that the only thing I struggled with with the matte shades was that they were not 100% true to color with what I saw in the pan. For instance, with Imhotep, I thought this was going to be a very dark chocolatey brown, and it ended up being a little bit lighter. And then with the Amon shade, I thought that was also going to be more of kind of like an orangey beige, and it ended up being deeper. So these two shades, when I applied them together in this look, kind of blended together into one just brownish kind of color. And so I, I was not a huge fan of that. I also felt like the Horus shade that was a light gray ended up being significantly deeper of a gray than what I was expecting. So that was the only thing with the matte shades that kind of threw me off. But the metallic shades were absolutely stunning. No fallout whatsoever with them. The Anubis shade is definitely at a minimum a duochrome, if not a multi-chrome. It is so, so gorgeous. That is this purple to kind of greenish gold shade. So there you can kind of see the switch between the gold and the purple tones on there. Really, really beautiful. Uh, really love that color combo, so no problem with that whatsoever. The Half Thor shade is the iridescent shade. I will say that it is very, very soft, and so even though I have not used a ton of it, also very shifty on there with blues, greens, purples, very gorgeous shade. You can definitely build it up quite a bit. That one I have not used a ton, but you can just see the massive divot that is within the palette, and that is because it does, it is just so soft. <laughs> so you do really have to be careful with that one, as well as a couple of the other metallics that you don't quite dig in too, too hard because it'll just get you a pan almost immediately if you do it that way. But overall, really, really enjoyed the palette. I love Adept Cosmetics formula. It's really, really nice. No complaints. This is not my favorite palette from Adept. I definitely still think that the Codeine palette is my absolute favorite. Just the two matte shades in there and then all of the shimmers, so, so gorgeous. But for a neutral palette, this was really, really pleasing to me because I just felt like you could take it as colorful or as neutral as you wanted, and I really enjoyed that. Next up, we have from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This is the Silent Night palette that they came out with, and this also took a hot minute because right now shipping from Australia to the US takes quite a while, but I absolutely love it. It is such a unique color story, and oh my goodness, this copper shade, by far tinsel is like the highlight of this palette. It is such a gorgeous coppery orange metallic. I mean, borderline foil, so gorgeous. Oh, I absolutely love it. And you can definitely tell with the look that I made, I thought that the combination of the matte shade Slay right here with that copper shade, oh, it was so beautiful. I absolutely loved how that look turned out. I really like that color combination. But there are several really, really stunning shades. You have the beautiful Fairy Lights iridescent shade on here, and then you have Bobbles, which is absolutely a multi-chrome. We can swatch that guy for you guys. It is very soft, so again, kind of like with the Adept Cosmetics shades, you want to be a little bit gentle with it. But that is this guy right here. Also very similar to the Adept one in that it is not immediately opaque. You have to build it up, but just all of the different colors, green, blue, yellow, pinkish, purple, just all of it. It is so, so gorgeous really enjoyed it. And I mean, this whole color story to me is just, you can take it so many different ways because they do have four really different matte shades and then all of the different metallics. You can layer them however you want to just create really unique looks. And so for only being an eight pan palette, I thought it was super unique and just a ton of options available. So I absolutely love this. I really like Laminatrix Cosmetics formula as well. It's a really easy one to work with, no fallout, and just super duper nice. So highly recommend this one. Then from Nomad Cosmetics, we have the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. And I did also do a video with this one, but usually the way I handle Nomad Cosmetics palettes is I talk a lot about travels that I've done in the past. And so I did two different eye looks with it. Those are seen here, where I tried to use as many of the shadows as possible. 
This is what the inside color story looks like. This is probably my second favorite palette from Nomad, right behind the Iceland palette. I just absolutely love all of the different colors that they have in here. I love a good grungy green, and this whole section here is just absolutely stunning. That was why I was able to create such a beautiful golden green look. I love blues, and this was really, really nice with the blues, and then you could really take it however you wanted by blending these shades together. And so I thought it was just absolutely stunning. I really like their form if you are someone that is a beginner to colors, it's really easy to work with. No fallout. The matte shades do start off a little bit lighter in pigment, but you can easily build them up. And so if you are someone that is wanting to test the waters, Nomad's formula is probably one of the best for that. Their Ski Bum shade is definitely also at a minimum a duochrome. So that is what this guy looks like right here. It goes between kind of a tealish to green and then a purple. So you can really kind of see the, the tealish, bluish green. And then as I come in close, the purple along with it. So just very interesting though with how it shows those shifts because it doesn't come across to me as like a traditional um, shimmer the way that like some of these guys do. It is definitely a thicker consistency. And so because of that, the the shifts on there is, are less obvious. But when you see them, it's just like, oh, that is really cool. So really like that one. I think that the green Whistler shade is absolutely stunning. The black comb blue navy metallic. This guy has almost like a bit of a purplish undertone to it, but just absolutely gorgeous for a blue on there. And I mean, I just really, really like that. It's super pretty, very easy to apply. The metallics also layer and blend together beautifully. And so I really enjoy Nomad's formula. So highly recommend this one. And then the last palette that we're gonna talk about is from Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership 3 Subversive palette comes in this packaging right here. And even though this is an older palette, part of the reason why I want to talk about it is that it finally was restocked after like well over a year of not being available. So I really wanted to just re-showcase this to, to you guys so you kind of see it again. It is definitely one of the most grungy of the palettes that Pat McGrath has available. I absolutely love it. I created this kind of purplish, goldish combination on there. You have the four specialty shades that Pat McGrath is known for right here, but these shades are also absolutely gorgeous. This metallic shade, as you guys were looking at it, looks very, very purple, but it is so grungy. I mean, starts off magenta, but gets really deep into kind of a darker cranberry shade as well. Has like a grungy goldish kind of sparkle on top. And so it just takes you in so many different directions. But I absolutely love that shade. And that was what I used in the look along with the gold shade. Let me go ahead and swatch this other shade though that is looking mighty shifty in the pan. And that is this gun right here. You can definitely see it starts off with kind of a lighter gray base and then goes between a grungy kind of navy blue to purple. And so because of that grayish base to it, it really makes it more grungy and definitely one where you can layer it up to a certain level of opacity if you so choose or just have it as like a light sparkle on top of something to kind of grunge it out a little bit. But I absolutely love this palette. It is definitely one of my favorites from Pat McGrath, and I just wanted to re-showcase it to you guys. But let me know what you think of absolutely everything. Have you guys picked up any of these guys? Do you own the Subversive palette? And if you do, what do you think of it? But other than that, that's all I have for you guys on the speed reviews. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not. Let me know either way as we always do on here. And make sure you just check out all of the details in the description for the giveaway. Don't miss out on it. If you're not subscribed yet, highly recommend subscribing so that you can be a part of this giveaway. And just thank you so much to each and every one of you for being part of my family on here. It means the absolute world to me. And other than that, you guys just go have a good one.